Hello and welcome to our mini tour of the west of Scotland with an EV towing a caravan. So those of you new to the channel, hello, I'm Andrew. This is my sidekick Dougal and we live here in the island of North Uist in the Outer Hebrides and this is my first caravan tour with an electric vehicle. This is my Kia EV6 and we're currently charging up now at the Kladach Kirkibos Centre. Now we've kind of spread out because we've got the caravan on the back just about the lead just about reaches on AC. We're charging on AC because I want to get the battery up to 100% if possible but we do have a ferry to catch down in South Uris down in Loch Boisdale so it might not get there in time and the purpose of this trip of course is not only to show you the beautiful west of Scotland but also to let you know in the real world what it's like touring with a caravan and an EV so let's get underway and then I'll tell you a little bit more about where we're going hey Dukes thank you 100% <laughs> battery it's telling me I've got a range of 235 because uh, we've got the caravan on the back and the current mileage is 1220. Right, let's head to Loch Boysdale. Okay, so we're well underway now and we're here on the island of South Uist. Now, where we charged up just now at the Kladach Kirkibos Centre, that was at 7.30 in the morning and we have plenty of room to manoeuvre with the caravan. We didn't need to unhitch. I'm not going to pretend that if you went there during business hours, when the cafe's open and the business centre, there would be far more cars in the car park, especially if the crash was in operation. And you might have difficulties if you were hitched up with the caravan during business hours. So I'm not going to pretend that that, that would, you know, that would be easy during business hours, but outside business hours, that was, that was a pretty cool place to charge up. 24 pence per kilowatt hour, and there was both AC, uh, uh, which the car got 11 kilowatt hours, and there's also DC charging there, which will give you about 43 kilowatt hours. Now we're heading down to Loch Boisdale, which is a total journey of, I think, about 40 miles from Kladach Kirkibost. And then we're getting the ferry to Maleg, and then we're going to Arisag on the other side, which is another about 13, 15 miles, because I think we have to go a slightly longer route with the caravan. So baby steps. At the moment, we're getting 1.8 miles to the kilowatt hour, so not too bad at all. Um, I think I will charge up the car tonight in Maleg because tomorrow we're heading down to Kilchoen through the Arshnamarachan Peninsula where there aren't that many charging points and looking at Zapmap, the one at Kilchoen, Kilchoen ferry terminal has been out of action for many months so um, we might not be able to charge up till we get to Tobermory or even pitch up the caravan and then go and find a charger um, tomorrow so that's another day uh, so what have we got against us at the moment well it's quite a windy day uh, it's kind of a crosswind so that's not too bad it's 10 degrees I've got the heating on and I've got so that's affecting our range and also we're rushing for a ferry uh, check-in closes in 30 minutes and it's about a 25 minute drive from here so we've got no time to dilly-dally but what's in our favour? Well, we're on island roads, so you go a little bit slower on island roads, which gives you a bit better fuel economy. Um, it has been busy. We've done lots of stop starting with letting traffic pass in both directions, because obviously you don't want to hold up people going to work. So um, yeah, it's kind of fairly neutral, the conditions we're, we're driving in. And like I say, at the moment, 1.8 kilowatt, uh, 1.8 miles per kilowatt hour, uh, but we'll see how we get on later in the trip. Round, so we're just going to start boarding now so uh, uh, let's now head off we're going to go on the Lord of the Isles to Malag Thank you. 
Built in 1989, the Lord of the Isles has a gross tonnage of 3,504 tonnes and carries up to 506 passengers and 28 crew. The car deck can carry 55 cars and it does show the ferry's age as it still incorporates the side ramps and turntables for loading and unloading back in the days when some islands didn't yet have link spans. However, she does also have bow and stern ramps which allow for roll-on, roll-off loading and there is no need to turn around on deck. Upstairs you'll find all mod cons including a pet lounge, Dover Calais ferry operators take note, a quiet lounge with desks, a cafeteria serving up reasonably priced and yummy food, a coffee cabin, an observation lounge and plenty of outside seating to soak up the views and observe the wildlife on a lovely day like today. After an extremely pleasant and relaxing three and a half hour cruise, we docked at Malaig and set off for Arisaig, a mere 10 mile drive. Here we stayed at Trai Farm certificated location. At £20 per night with no hookup and no toilet block, I did think it was excessively expensive until I saw the view from the pitch. As there was no hookup, I plugged the caravan into the car's V2L to power the mains appliances if need be. I used LPG for cooking and heating, but the mains would be handy for things like the microwave and for charging up cameras and so on. Later it was time to head back into Malaig to top up the charge on the car ahead of our journey to Mull in the morning, but first we had to stop for this wonderful photo opportunity.
Okay, so we've come to charge the car up in Malaig at the, I think this is called the West Bay Car Park, but it's on ZapMap anyway. But I'm really glad I didn't come here to the caravan for two reasons. Number one, if I turn the camera around, you'll see that even at five o'clock, it's still quite busy. And also there is a caravan prohibition in this car park. So motorhomes are permitted, but caravans are not. So, Highland Council, can you tell me how people who are low on charge, who are towing a caravan, can you tell me what they do if they're not camped nearby? Anyway, uh, there's a parking limit here of 45 minutes, um, but we're only going to top up to 80% because we're on a fast charge on DC. And I um, don't know if you can see that, but we are getting 43 kilowatts and uh, 13 minutes left to get to 80%. So let's take little Dougal for a 13 minute walk. How do you fancy the sound of that, Dougal? I'll look a bit more interested. Okay, so that's the end of the first day of the tour. So I'll wrap this vlog up here. I hope you found it interesting. Do join us next time for a little bit more in-depth analysis of what I think is a realistic range of the Kia EV6 towing a caravan and also for our journey down to the Isle of Mull. But in the meantime, hope you enjoyed this, folks. If you did, you know what to do. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you don't already. And it just leaves me to say from Dougal, who's down here. Hey, Dukes. And from me, thanks for tuning in. There. You looking forward to the rest of it, Dougal? You looking forward to the rest of the trip? Hmm? Are you excited? Are you excited? Are you excited? Yes? No? No? He never smiles. So join us next time for a fabulous find of a dog-friendly cafe in Arasag. A rough road that I never want to tow a caravan along for the rest of my life. The ups and downs of trying to find a charger. And a bit of a rough ferry crossing. See you next time.